Lightweight products, or components in larger mechanical systems, can improve the performance of the product or system as a whole, making it more efficient and sustainable. Finite element analysis can help you validate designs before they're built to ensure that your lightweighting strategies will not cause your products to fail. In this video, you will learn how to use static stress simulation in Fusion 360 to analyze and improve a brake pedal assembly. We will begin by running a static stress analysis on a poorly designed part. We will then improve the part by removing material, making it lighter and more efficient, and repeat our simulation to ensure that our lightweighting process has not compromised the structural integrity of the part. To begin, we will open a subset of a brake pedal assembly in the modeling workspace. This assembly consists of the primary pedal lever arm and two identical cages. These are the only components relevant to our simulation, so other components of the assembly have been suppressed. Since we want to run a simulation on our existing model, we will move straight to the simulation workspace by clicking on the workspace icon and selecting simulation. Fusion 360 offers a wide variety of simulation functionalities including static stress analysis, thermal stress analysis, event simulation, topology optimization, structural buckling simulation, and more. Fusion 360 solves simulations using the industry standard NASTRAN solver. For this scenario, we'll be running a static stress analysis, which shows that the model is statically and dynamically stable on application of external loads and frequencies. In this optimization, we are using stress analysis to ensure that the material and geometry of the pedal can handle the loads without deforming and failing. For this part, the structural design requirements are as follows. The yield strength of the part is 276 megapascals as defined by the material, aluminum 6061. The safety factor is 2, indicating that no more than 138 megapascals of tensile stress is allowed. The maximum displacement is 1.25 millimeters. We will reference these design requirements when analyzing our simulation results. To create a new simulation study, we will click on the New Study icon and select Linear Static Stress. We will now follow the control panel from left to right and define our material, constraints, loads, and contacts. We will select our material by clicking the material icon. For this study, we will select Aluminum 6061 and ensure that yield strength is selected for the calculation of our safety factor. We will now apply constraints to the model. We'll click on the constraints icon and begin by selecting a pin constraint. We will select the face on the inside of this hole. Be sure that all three constraint types, radial, axial, and tangential, are selected. We will then apply a frictionless constraint to the bottom of the pedal. This is to ensure that all simulation requirements are met and that our model is not under constraint. We will now add loads to this load case. Note on the left panel here that we are working on load case 1. You can simulate different loads on the same model by creating multiple load cases. We will add a 450 newton force to the top face of the pedal. This is a typical force applied to a pedal by a foot in an emergency braking scenario. We will then apply a second force of 45 newtons to the inside of the cage opening to model the resistance force of the brake cylinders on the pedal. We will repeat the application of this load on the other side of the bracket. Because we have no moving parts in our assembly, we can simply apply automatic contacts by clicking on the contacts icon. We are now ready to solve our static stress simulation. To be sure, we will click on the pre-check icon, which checks to ensure that all necessary information for the simulation has been determined. This will save us time in the event that any mistakes were made or steps were forgotten. The pre-check confirms that we are ready to go. We will now solve our simulation by clicking the solve icon. This simulation will run in the background on the cloud, which allows us to continue to work on the local hard drive if desired while the simulation is solving. For complex simulations that take a long time to solve, this can be very helpful.